Uh, well then boys and girls, uh, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to the Journey to Thousand Pound series. Uh, today will be episode 4 and uh, the first of 3 episodes for the February update. And uh, today we'll go through a bench press session where we'll go through a PR and do two working sets as well. Uh, but before we go into that, let's go through the new and improved summary clip. It's massively improved. It was much more detailed and poignant. And uh, yeah, let's go through that. We're just going to give you a quick overview of the series and then we'll go into the bench press session. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the summary clip. Peace out. Hey, so you hello you there guys. Hey, welcome back. Now we're gonna go through the summary clip, which is gonna be like somewhat of a quick overview of what we're trying to do throughout the whole series. And uh, in this summary clip, we're gonna be discussing three major parts. Uh, the first part is gonna be discussing what's our goals. Uh, the second part is gonna be discussing how we plan to get to those goals. And thirdly, we're gonna be discussing how we're gonna go about documenting the whole journey. So let's jump straight into part one of the summary clip, which is gonna be what's our goal. So in terms of our goal, our goal is gonna be two folds for this uh, journey. Uh, the first part of our goal is going to be a powerlifting goal uh, where we're trying to lift a thousand pounds combined between our three main power lifts namely bench squat and deadlift and this uh, started at the start of january of 2024 and will go all the way through to the end of april of 2024 so it's a four month journey and at the start of the journey our total lift combined between our three main lifts was eight was 860 pounds so this 860 pounds included a 225 pound bench a uh, 355 pound deadlift and a 280 pound squat so our goal is to gain 140 pounds of basically weight lifted gained in uh in four months so yeah it's a big ambitious goal so uh it's going to be an interesting journey for sure and uh, the second part of our goal is going to be a flexibility goal so i'm really tight no 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 my whole body is pretty tight but i'm trying to get looser and i'm trying to get more flexible and more agile and uh we're going to be tracking our flexibility as we go along for the four months but we're going to be focusing on five major stretches five major compound stretches which mainly focus on the hip area and the lower body area, which is where I'm the tightest at. So these five stretches are going to be the split, which is going to include the front and side split, uh, the standing hip to knee stretch, the pancake, the pigeon pose, and lastly, the reclining hero, which hit all the major parts where I'm the tightest at. So those are our goals. Now we're going to go into part two, which is going to be discussing uh, how do we plan to achieve those goals. So uh, for part two, we're going to be breaking it down into part 2A, which is going to be more focused on powerlifting and part 2B, which is going to be focused on flexibility. So for part 2A, we'll be discussing how we plan to achieve our powerlifting goals. And uh, for powerlifting, just like any other physical endeavor, is going to be focused on two major aspects, which is going to be training and diet. So starting with the diet, it's just pretty straightforward for my diet. I'm just trying to do like a bunch of task list bullet points. Uh, the first one is going to be uh, trying to consume a caloric surplus every day of 300 calories and uh, second thing is going to be consuming a gram of protein per pound of body weight and third part is going to be consuming five to ten grams of creatine every single day and lastly uh, we'll make sure to sleep at least eight hours every night to induce muscle growth basically and uh, yeah this is being done completely natural with just uh, creatine and protein supplements being taken uh, so with the diet out of the way now let's move on to the training so in terms of training, in order to improve our powerlifting numbers, we're going to be focusing on three main aspects. Uh, the first part is going to be technique. The second part is going to be hypertrophy. And the third part is going to be neural adaptation. So let's briefly go through all three and see how we can use them to improve our powerlifting numbers. Uh, so then let's start off with technique. Uh, so technique is like an easy way of improving your powerlifting numbers without actually having to build more muscle or having to recruit more muscle. Uh, so as technique is all about improving your body mechanics and improving your lift efficiency. And and uh, the way we plan to do this is by recording ourselves while we're doing our lifts and uh, through watching ourselves basically lift the lifts, we'll be able to see uh, where we can improve our technique and where our weak links are in the lifts and where we need to uh, do more work on specific muscle groups. And uh, not only would technique help improve the powerlifting numbers, but would also help me keep me safe from any injury that could be associated with any of the lifts. And uh, so that's technique. Number two is gonna be hypertrophy, which is all about muscle. And it's all about building more muscle. And the way to do this is obviously by creating micro tears in the muscle and dieting well and sleeping well in order for the muscle to build back stronger and better. And uh, the way we're gonna be going about doing this in the gym is through the power lifts, number one. Number two, through isolated exercises after we do our power lifts. So we, the way we plan to train is by splitting our sessions into three sessions of push, pull or legs which start off with free weight compound exercises and then move on to machine isolated exercises to finish off our workouts 
and uh, thirdly we're going to go through neural adaptation uh, neural adaptation basically means improving your uh, uh, muscle recruitment ability and also imp improving your coordination and your body's ability to handle stress and the way to do this is by putting your body through heavy load low rep exercises which prime your body to being okay with handling a lot of weight number one and it will teach it to recruit more muscle to lift the weights stronger every time and it will also improve your coordination so that you actually lift more without having to recruit more muscle uh, so through uh, heavy weight low rep exercises we'll be able to achieve a better neural adaptation and lift heavier weights and uh, the problem with all this is I'm doing heavy sets, uh, high intensity, all that. So it's going to take a lot of stress on the body, uh, on the muscles, and especially on the nervous system, which is going to diminish our lift capabilities. So we have to make sure we have we take adequate rest between our sessions. Uh, so I'll be taking a minimum of two days rest and a maximum of four day or five day rest, depending on how I'm feeling, but a minimum of two days between lifting sessions in order to make sure I'm well recovered and I'm not uh, being injury prone or uh, inducing any plateaus in terms of our lifts. Uh, so that is it for our powerlifting goal. Now let's move on to our uh, flexibility goal. Uh, for flexibility goals, the way we plan to achieve our goals is by doing 30 minute full body stretches prior to bedtime every every other night, not every single night in order for, because when you stretch, you kind of tear the muscles in a sense, so you need a bit of recovery time, but we'll do it every other night and we'll do 30 minute body stretches, but we'll focus more on the five major stretches by holding those ones for a minute and a half compared to the other ones, which will only hold for uh, 30 seconds seconds to a minute at a time and uh, yeah so that is it for how we plan to achieve our goals now let's move on to part three uh, well then boys uh, welcome to the last part of uh, the summary clip which is going to be where we'll be discussing how we're going to go about documenting our journey so for this journey we're going to be posting uh, three videos every month and the first one is going to be for a, a bench session the second one is going to be for a deadlift session and the third one is going to be for a squat session and uh, the last video of every month will also contain a flexibility update to show our progress for the month in terms of our flexibility and mainly in terms of our five major stretches and uh, uh, the last month in april instead of doing three videos we'll only do one video which will act like a finale to our series uh, where we'll do all our three main lifts in the same day and in the same video as well as do one final flexibility update to finish off the series uh, so in total there will be 10 videos three videos every month except for april which will only have one video and uh, yeah that is everything for our summary now let's go back to the lifting session uh, with a future eba so i'll see you guys there all right peace out uh well okay then boys uh here we are finally at the bench press clip and uh yeah let's get into it we got the glasses on looking smart looking sexy looking cute and uh hopefully we'll hit our pr so yeah let's uh start with the usual which is the warm-up sets and uh let's work our way up with the pr and do a couple more working sets so as usual we start with the 135s you know we you don't you don't start less than 135 even if it's a warm-up you know so yeah here we are again with the warm-ups i want to prime the movement of the bench press pr so i want to really act like it's a lot of weight on me that way my body's somewhat primed for that movement when uh, i actually do put a lot of weight on me so yeah that is the goal every time and uh, here we are now we're going to move on to 185s just to warm up the muscles a bit we did like three reps so yeah uh you want to limit the amount of reps not to fatigue the muscle but at the same time you want enough to uh get good good blood flow going in the muscle and get a good pump going uh so yeah this is going to be the last set prior to the pr and it is the one where i do just one rep and uh do it close enough but not too close to where it fatigues me too much but do it close enough to where my body is primed uh to actually locking out a full heavy weight on me so yeah this is pretty close to my pr just 20 pounds shy so yeah it should be somewhat of a challenge getting it up i guess but yeah was uh, came up somewhat easy i felt because uh, the problem with that one was my hands were too wide apart and uh, was uh, too much pressure on the inner parts of my hands and uh, so i had to make sure i fixed that for the pr but it kind of started slipping away so that's why it was a bit tricky getting it up uh but yeah here we are at our pr and let's see if we can actually uh, hit 230 this time around uh, 235 actually sorry 235 was five pound plates on each side so yeah uh yeah here we are getting prepared intaking as much air as you guys can see just breathing now and then boom yeah okay now i braced it and uh yeah bring it down and again yet another failure and uh yeah 
this this one was like really heartbreaking because <laughs> with the same plateau as last month which means we're doing something wrong if something like that happens there's no other excuse for it it means we're doing something wrong first of all let's just fix our form a bit but we're doing something wrong in terms of our training which we have to fix so let's just quickly chat about the form and then we'll chat about the training part of it so here we are in terms of the form the bracing aspect of it here is somewhat okay i remember at the time like you know how much you're bracing at the time and the problem with me every time was like i lose a bit of balance on the bench my something i don't know if it's my hand positioning that's not right or something else but i do lose a bit of balance and then i breathe out a bit and then i just release that abdominal pressure which should not be happening it should be stiff the whole time so that's one thing i definitely 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 need to work on another thing is i need more leg drive my legs like it looks like i'm driving to the floor but i'm not like if i can use my legs to drive into the floor it's going to uh help me i'll put more weight basically and uh yeah in terms of the direction of the uh, bar i'm pretty happy with it because it does come down in somewhat of a uh, curved manner down and it goes up in the opposite way in order to just to get the uh, shoulder movement out the way so it's just you can output maximal force if you kind of go back and up a bit so like kind of create like an ellipse kind of thing going there uh so as you guys will be able to see i think that part of it was going right because i was kind of going back first and then was going to go up but uh yeah i failed at this position so what does this mean in terms of our training so let's get into the training part number one is i need to do uh because prior to this i was doing more uh bodybuilding or uh, muscle hypertrophy focused trainings where i did very high intensity workouts and i really exhausted myself in the isolation and machine workouts and i did too much over there but since i'm trying to achieve weightlifting sorry powerlifting goals i need to have my training more shifted and focused towards the power li lifting aspect of it even though muscle building helps in terms of powerlifting if you're not doing enough powerlifting then you're not going to improve so that's definitely one thing i'm going to do for uh, the rest of the month in terms of uh, March uh, I need a massive improvement on the bench because I'm trying to hit 250 by the end of the four months and I'm 25 fucking pounds away so I need to really get going and uh, therefore from now on I'll be more have my uh, goal and my uh, mindset shifted towards powerlifting in a sense meaning that I'm going to come in do a bunch of uh, powerlifting lifts and then do like maybe three or four isolation exercises afterwards I don't, I don't want to exhaust myself in the bodybuilding aspect I just want to completely have my focus shifted towards powerlifting and only do bodybuilding aspect for the weak links in my body so that's number one number two is i need to work on the lower portion of bench press uh, especially just pushing that out from the initial stages like a quarter way and then pushing it out from there because i'm usually good at locking stuff out but i just lack in terms of the initial part which means from now on when i do my sets i have to make sure i do pause sets at that position so that my uh, muscles at that position could get developed and my uh, neurons can file properly and my muscle recruitment can be optimal at that position so the more i'll do that the better it will be so from now on i'll train every two days for bench and uh the way i'll do it is i'll have bench <clears throat> two day rest and then deadlift and then two day rest and then bench again and then two day rest and then legs the reason why I do double uh, bench for one deadlift and one squat is because the deadlift and the squat are somewhat related in a sense where they use a lot of the lower back and uh, like I don't want to it already hurts every time I either I do either or and I don't want to risk it too much and uh, really like decrease my output because if I do deadlift and then i take a two-day rest and go to squats my lower back is going to give out way faster than my quads and my legs because my lower back is fatigued from my uh, deadlift session so uh i think having this the bench between in between them as well as around them like meaning like i do bench deadlift bench squat bench like that it will help in a sense uh like relief my lower back and uh will help me get more sets in and more reps in at the gym and uh will make me a better power lifter so that's definitely one thing we'll do for the month of march to make sure that we hit 235 and apps at an absolute minimum that's our absolute minimum goal we have to lift this weight next time so that is it i know it was a wrong ramble so let's just skip this part now and uh save ourselves the embarrassment and uh move on to a uh, one proper working set we're gonna draw a drop set here i was really angry with myself obviously as i would as you would expect if you fail the same lift twice in a month which is a uh, which is very disappointing and very 
<laughs> rage inducing let's just say so yeah i really put it into this uh, set as you guys will be able to see that's the third set over there and that's the fourth set see i'm too fast going down i need to be way more controlled in the uh, downward motion and uh, make sure that i uh, hold it over here so from now on like hold it in this position when it's coming back up again hold it in this position and uh really uh pause it there for a second and then push it up so yeah that's one thing i need to do even on the last sets as you guys can see here that was my weakest part i did lock it out somewhat easily i guess but the weakest part was just getting it off the chest like after it's so like a quarter way up like getting it past that point was the weakest part so we need to make sure uh we uh really get that part uh basically dialed in for the next month so that being said we just uh, did a quick drop set it took us like 15 second 20 second rest and uh back at it we go again with this one obviously we're just trying to exhaust the muscle completely and uh yeah much more controlled see this is the one i want over here just controlled on the way down and then on top of that next time i want to pause in the middle and the lower portion as i said and uh yeah really train the chest to uh do maximal lifts so yeah here we are now we're trying to we're getting to like the last portion of the lift as you guys can see my face is starting to hurt like everything's starting to hurt at this point so yeah here we are boom okay at this point i've been doing like fucking that's like the 15th 16th rep in total in terms of the drop set so i needed a bit of a breather and uh but i wasn't gonna like take too long to where the muscle recovers so i was like okay let's get it back up again and finish off with a few more and here we are that's one that i can get like maybe three okay two let's see if we can get the last one uh coming back down and up we go Ooh barely okay but we did get it up so i was really happy with myself there and uh it's a nice recovery i guess from a failure attempt for the pr so yeah again for uh next lift uh next time we come for the bench press anyways uh we'll definitely improve for sure uh we'll use a new technique and uh see where that gets us so yeah thank you guys very much for watching and uh the next video uh for uh the deadlift session which should come out the next day so yeah be tuned for that and uh see you guys later all right peace out